Welcome back, guys, to another training. It's the RSS module. Now, we just finished doing the prospector. And as you can see, I've still got the last information up here from the last, the last project information up here. Um, the RSS feed, the RSS reader, and the RSS sharer, it's an all-in-one. So you've got two options here. There's this here where you just hit the plus button. Let's have a new tab called, this was diet, I think, right? Or muscle, we'll say. Okay, and then you've got this that appears over here, the RSS thing, and you just basically put your put your feeds in there. I like to do one feed at a time, so one feed here, I press OK, and then it'll populate over here. Um, you know, it's up to you, really. I mean, you can put, you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten unlimited feeds here, really, if you want. And, you know, but then you have a, a much larger feed here with all this information you have to go through so you can just keep opening up tabs so I just create a whole bunch of different tabs and you know once you've created one project you can just import them from previous projects and I'm just gonna do that now so I'm just close that down because I don't need that and I'm gonna import my RSS feeds from this one and select all and OK and here we go. We have all of the RSS feeds now importing. My personal favorite, and I suggest you do the same, and this is a, uh, it's a great trick, and I found it to be the most effective way to get everything, and that's the last, the up to the second. I mean, I was looking into ways to scrape it ourselves, to just, you know, work out how to you know get into the APIs of a few different um, scraping systems and I'll tell you what I wasn't happy with the results the best results that I found for the latest information every single press release every single blog post that you can imagine from any site worth talking about is gonna be in feedspot.com right and I would highly suggest that you just go sign up for a pro account they give you the pro account for the first year free and I think it's 25 bucks thereafter, so hopefully you would have been able to work out how to make that money back within a year. So go and sign up to a pro Feedspot account, and that then what you can do, which you can't do in the free account, is segment your feeds into folders on, on the left-hand side. I'm not gonna go into a Feedspot training here. You'll work it out. It's pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, you just go do searches and create folders, and then those folders, you can then create RSS feeds from them, and those RSS feeds you bring in here, you see? This is the RSS feed. And uh, we've got another RSS feed, another RSS feed, this is just funny because I like to keep funny stuff in there. Oh my gosh, weird stuff. Um, okay, rip muscles and then viral stuff. Just because you know, no one, no one, no one pr pr just posts like bodybuilding stuff on their own profile. Like you have a Facebook account, you do internet marketing. You know, you don't post internet marketing stuff on your own on your own personal Facebook page all the time. And if you do, stop. People don't like that. They don't care. They're your friends. They're not into internet marketing. They're, you know, they're into whatever it is that they do, right? That's why you have fan pages and pages and groups to promote and talk about business in there. But that's another story altogether. All, 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 all the, the reason I, I like to add that in is because on your regular profile here, you can do something like this. So over here, I believe this is, we, ha we do have a, a Facebook account. See, look, viral video. Okay, so share. And we just come in here. It should load the Facebook account, and you can put something in there if you want. You know, she's at it again, whatever. Okay, and share link, and that now goes onto the, page, the Facebook page. Okay, so that's like a normal thing and funny. Okay, people like funny things, you know, train wreck review, funny but threatening rom com. Okay, so that's a movie review looks so funny anyone seen it okay and that's the kind of stuff you'd post on your real Facebook page and and doing stuff like this then sets you up to be able to go and friend people and then Facebook actually starts suggesting people to friend you and let's go have a look at the browser we should have our posts there in Facebook and social accounts and then you've got the same thing back to the RSS feed 
And don't forget, look, you can also, these RSS feeds, you could you sent the Guardian. Okay, who's got LA Times? They've got their own commenting system there as well. So send to browser. And that also sends it to the browser. So if it looks like a really interesting article. And then you can come and comment below here as well. And these are the latest, latest trending. So you'll probably come before anyone's commented. You see that? You see what I'm talking about? This is exactly what you want to be doing. And this was to do with whatever. It's something, this was funny. Oh my gosh, right? So, you know, let's go find something a little bit more niche related. So this is niche related. VPN, true at your news.vn. Okay, so that looks like a press release. And um, well, that's loading. We'll go and find another one. And wicked local smh.com.au man charged with a connection with shooting a bodybuilder, right? Okay, so it's bodybuilder related, arbitrary use of dietary supplements, serotonin in bodybuilding clubs. And look, there's going to be somewhere here where you can comment, okay? And these are like really easy places, and no one has come here yet, right? And this is like the latest trend, the latest, you know. Um, blog posts in these topics, right? By by some by some awesome websites. I mean, I don't know what these guys are. True it, true it news, you know, whatever they are, whatever it is, they they they're in the uh, they've gotten into Feedspot, and you need to be a little bit you know authentic and real to be in Feedspot. Okay, so using them is a great way. I mean, nothing is stopping you from going and just creating your own feeds, and you can do that, and that's why this is here, right? So you could just copy and add as many feeds as you want. And just add more feeds. It's entirely up to you. Go and grab a Yahoo Pipe and stick a Yahoo Pipes feed in there, although that's closing down, I hear. And we have a solution for that in the next module, which I'm going to cover in a minute. Um, but I'm going to, I think, end the video here. I think I've covered pretty much everything. You know, you can share straight to the profile that you're logged into straight from the reader here. And and then, again, we did the, the send to the browser. We're going to have Center RSS Masher coming in soon, so that's going to be a feature to look out for, which is going to be awesome because when you're mashing your YouTube videos and whatever else you're mashing, you want to be adding other stuff in as well that's related. So we'll have Add Center Masher as, as just like we have Center Browser. We're going to have Center Feed Masher, Center Feed Masher, so you can have like 10 you know, related links and re relevant links along with your YouTube URLs, which I'm going to get into in another video, obviously. So that's it for the RSS module. Um, I'm going to end the video now and the next video we're going to look at the feed masher.